Do your job. Marcos Villegas for FightHubTV.com standing here with world-renowned trainer Freddie Roach. Freddie, uh, let's get into the particulars of this fight. Manny Pacquiao, Shane Mosley, when this fight was first proposed, did it interest you at all? What were your first initial thoughts? Um, I had my doubts about, about, about Shane, but the thing is I, I know he, he's a competitive guy and he's going to rise to the occasion and get ready if he does have one more fight left in him and this will be this will be it and I expect, you know, I'm, I'm not going to underestimate him, I'm going to expect him to be at his best and, uh, um, you know, I'm going to get my guy fully prepared for this and um, I, I, want to, I want Manny to dominate every round and I, I would love to see him knock this guy out because nobody's done that in the past and I just want to show Mayweather one more time how much better we are than him and maybe in, in get him and entice him into signing that contract for, for the big fight. Now this matchup here, it's Manny's going up against a guy that's not as big as his other opponents, still bigger than Manny but not as big. Speed, there's still a, a big disparity. You know, but style-wise, it's uh, Shane Mosley's an all-action-packed fighter. Do you think, with that style, do you think this fight will will just be fireworks and it's more tailor-made to Manny? It is um, tailor-made to well, not not just to Manny because well, Shane's a good, very good counterpuncher also, and he likes guys that come to him and doesn't do too well when he fights guys that move away and run. Um, but um, the thing is, you just we just can't go to him too aggressively, and we have to be smart about how we how we do go to him, and uh, you know use the feints and the head movement and so forth. But uh, you know, overall, I, I think the first four rounds are very competitive and very explosive, and uh, I think that's where Shane has might have his window of opportunity because he does have power and speed. And uh, but um, we're gonna just try to make it, take those old legs away, and uh, you know help Manny break him down and take him out in the late rounds. With that being said, Floyd has came out and said he thinks that, you know, when him and Mosley fought that, that was it. You know, after that fight, he didn't think Shane had anything left. Do you believe that Shane still has a lot left to be able to pull the upset, or do you think the, the upset is not even possible? Anything's possible in life. You know, the thing is, he, he, he gets up for this fight. Is, you know, he's, he's fighting the best fighter in the world. If he wins over Manny Pacquiao, everything bad goes away. Um, he's going to give his best effort, I'm sure, because he's, he, Shane's always done that. He, he will give 100% and he, he, he will come to fight. And that might be his downfall, but the thing is, he, he will try and he will go out swinging. Mm -hmm. Given the last experience with the last training camp, what are you going to do differently? Because I know that last training camp was a bit hectic for everybody. It was, um, but the thing is, um, we'll, 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 have, we'll have some distractions in, in this one also, because otherwise it wouldn't be normal. So the thing is, but what we're going to do is we're going to do four weeks in uh, Baggy Allen and four weeks in L.A. instead of uh, five and three. So uh, we'll, we'll have more time in LA because once he's in the wild card, he's completely focused and 100% knows where, where, why, why he's there. And Baggy out, you know, too many politicians asking to meet with him and the president and so forth. It's really hard to say no to the president when, when uh, you're in training camp and so forth. So some days um, that, that might that might happen again, and he might take a day off here or there and. Uh, I don't mind this, mind mind that so much though, because he's such a hard worker. Some days I like it, like him take, taking days off at this point, but uh, so we but we're gonna do an extra week in LA this time, so we're not gonna be too too much too close to the fight. Do you think Manny will come out of this fight with a knockout over Mosley, or do you think it'll go 12 rounds? I think he'll come out with a knockout in this fight um, because uh, I just want to prove that you know, we'll do something no nobody else has done, and uh, I just gotta urge Manny not to be compassionate at the end of the fight and. Not, not just let these guys go go the distance because he's a nice guy.